Today is task number six or seven perhaps, I've forgotten which, uh, and we are again at the north takeoff at Monte Cucu. The wind is fairly light from the northeast. Uh, they've set another long task today, it's nearly 100 miles, 152 kilometers. We start off by flying to the north that way, um, to the turn point that we went to yesterday and then a little bit further. And then we're heading to the south in that direction, over those hills in the distance over there. Once we've gone to the south, we cross over the ridge to the other side, or the series of ridges to the other side, and we go to a place called Spoleto. And after Spoleto, then we're going north to Assisi and then back south again to a landing field near Spoleto. So a long task, uh, I'm hoping to finish it. I'm hoping to do better than I have been doing because I've been doing pretty pants really. Um, we'll see how we do. I've made a few tweaks to my glider to try and make it fly a little bit faster. Um, that's faster without having as much bar pressure so it's easier to go faster. Um, but we'll see how, how I get on today. Uh, hoping for a good one and I will see you shortly when I take off. Okay. Thank you. Yours. Mine. Heading back. 
get to the big mountain. Hoping to get there high enough to make use of that stonking thermal that's there. Don't really want to get there low. Climbing again on the big mountain. Good climb, five, six up. Bitty climb wasn't very good, but I was getting low, so I've taken that to get up high. I'm at nearly 5,000 feet again, and I'm just heading towards some gliders who are climbing in front of me. This is in the area where we've had the gold field in the last few days, where I've struggled a lot. So I don't want to struggle here again today. Right in front of me seems to be climbing really well. Let's get to it quick and get into that climb. Let's go up in this climb, woohoo! Just been joined by Dave, there's Dave with Matthews, top English pilot. Not the top, but one of the top. off now on the glide because this glider's climbing ahead of it I can get into their thermal next <laughs> thermal poaching brilliant those foothills again it's a pizza and a nice climb
back up again, that's good. So I passed Trapezi and then flown over the gap. I did it low, probably too low really. So I put myself in a position where I had to take the first climb that came along. Which was weak. Well, it's this one. But it's getting better now. There we go, we see it going up, going up nicely. 4,400 feet a minute. some people that were above me is now coming through the buggers meters to the next turn point and then after that I've got to get high to go over the back and into a bit of no man's land really five kilometers of non-landable terrain got to somehow get high before going over there So this is where everybody is going to spend ages in this climb. Trying to get every bit of height. Less than 200 metres to the next turn point and then I'm going to jump in on that climb, I hope. Although it seems to have stopped and they're all coming back. Bugger. 30 odd metres to the turn point. to be skirting the edge of the turn point. Made a mistake there. There, I didn't pay enough attention to my instrument, clearly. Now I've got the turn point, I can go looking for the next thermal. Finally got a thermal there. Been a load of us scrabbling around the top of the ridge for a while now. Hoping for a thermal. Very little coming through, but now we've got a decent thermal. Hoping this is going to take us high enough to get over the badlands. Whatever, we've got to get as high as possible here. Everybody's fighting to stay up on these planes. We're all really low. I think a couple of people might have landed already. You can see somebody below me who looks like they're climbing. Up in there. takes you straight onto this high plateau. This guy below me looks like he's coming up to me, either that or I'm going down to him. Let's hope it's the former and not the latter. There are a number of people circling in this area. Here we go, let's find out. strong this is a real fight is this bit feels like there should be a good thermal somewhere but it could be we're just too low to make a good use of one or too low for it to form properly
core thermal, just need to stay with it. Not very strong, but at this moment in time, I'll take anything. Just watching somebody land. Here we are. Here's that elusive thermal. Going back up again now. Finally found one. Just need to get really high now. It's got some more mountains to cross. Currently at 5,300 feet. It doesn't look that high because this is a high plateau. I'm going to stay with this thermal as high as I can. Or at least until it gets weak. Because then I've got another glide to do. Over the plateau. Well, stayed with that thermal to just over 6,000 feet. And it was petering out. People in my gaggle have left and I'm going with them. Gliding over the plateau. There are people ahead of us who are circling. Some low, some high. Which tells me there's an area of lift ahead. I just need to get there and take advantage of it. Time, just look at the wonderful view. Because it's good, isn't it? Right, let's get there. Let's get a nice climb. Well, I've blundered into a strong thermal now, have I? I'm now at 8,000 feet. So that's a lot more promising than being low down on that valley floor. It's nice and cool up here as well. There's the turn point over there, the Spoleto turn point. Staying with this thermal as long as it's good. When it starts to die off, I'll leave it. It's good as this though, isn't it? I'm on top of the world! On a glide at over 8,000 feet, doing 45 miles an hour. I was going to just glide to the turn point earlier, and then I blundered into this massive climb, and I thought, I'll have a bit of that. The longer you're spending strong climbs, the better, because uh, it just gives you the extra height to pull more speed on. Spend a long time in slow climbs and everybody's outdoing you. So I'm currently nine kilometres from the southernmost turn point at Spoleto. 50 kilometres of the task left to do, which means I have done uh, about 100 kilometres so far. So two thirds of the way around the task. And now the conditions are better than uh, when we started, managing to get much higher and a much stronger thermal, so it's much better over this side. This is the area where I made a mess up the other day. Oh well, the next turn point, not this one, on a CC, I got low there and struggled there for a while. So I'm hoping I won't make the same mistake again today. But I know on the way to a CC is a good climb, providing it's still there when I go back. So I'll be heading back for that climb and try to make use of it. Still a way to go to this next turn point further out than I thought. But I'm 
I'm on my way. So I'm six kilometers from the final turn point. 26 kilometers from goal. Trying to get high enough to get to goal. Been struggling, not low down, but in weak climbs. Unable to get up. Finally found something that's going up well. Going up more than 500 feet a minute now. I need about another 3,000 feet worth of climb. And then I should make it to goal. But we'll see. This is a nice climb, so I want to stay with this as long as I can. I'm going up at 700 feet a minute plus now. That's good. Going through six and a half thousand feet now. Well, gone through that. So, we're having some notices from the safety director about the final glide because there are some power lines about a kilometre away from the goal. So, we need to arrive there high enough to get over those power lines. Still going up nicely. I'm hoping this will be the final thermal that I require. We shall see. <laughs> 7,600 feet now. The guy ahead of us going for it. I want to get higher. Don't want to uh, be low on the final glide, especially not with the power lines. Point six required to go. I'm gonna go for it now. Nine thousand feet. Woohoo! So ten to three required to get to go. Sorry, 10.3 glide angle required to get to go. I am going for it! Woohoo! I am 20 kilometers from the goal. I require a 10 to 1 glide angle to get there. So I'm not going to go mega fast until I know I'm making it. But uh, I'm not going to go mega slow either. 19.2 kilometres. Currently at 7,362 feet. Let's see what we can do here. 12 kilometres to go. Well, 12.35 kilometres. I appear to be making it. There's a guy ahead of me and I've been slowly gaining on him. I've been thinking I can try and overtake this guy. And then I thought it was Andy. I didn't think it was Andy. And then, then if it was Andy, he would have had the bar at his knees and be doing a gazillion miles an hour. And I would never have caught him. So it's definitely not Andy. I'm 
still catching this guy, I'm hoping I can overtake him. I need to overtake him without putting myself on the floor. So I need to pull on enough speed to overtake him, but not so much speed that I end up losing out on my final drive. Five kilometres to go! Hundreds of climbers here already, as ever. But not to worry. I have made it to go. Pleased about that. Task finished. I am well I. Gordon's gonna really tell me off for not going fast enough on the final drive. I had another battery failure just before landing, so I didn't get my landing. But I got a lot of the flight today and I am the second Brit into goal. Woohoo! So I'm really pleased with that flight. That's uh, a bit of a return to the sort of performance that I want to be doing uh, and I hope to try and emulate that again but who knows if I can or not but uh, excellent flight really good had some fantastic climbs over, around this area uh, and did a 20 kilometer glide into goal from the last turn point in fact it was a 25 kilometer guide, glide to goal because I glided from five kilometers out from the last turn point uh, worked really well really pleased with that fantastic day and uh, I'm gonna go and have a beer now <laughs>